Say goodbye. Say hello. It's 5.21. Um, and everyone can say a big kia ora and hello to our good friends, um, Charles and Emily from Aroa. Kia ora, korua. Kia ora, kia ora. Kia ora. <laughs> Great to have you with us on the show. I feel like it's been a minute or two. <laughs> It's, yeah, yeah. I mean, it feels like it was just yesterday, but I think it was actually about a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, they blend. The days blend into years, don't they? Um, it's so stoked that you guys have kept on delivering us fantastic uh, music and also fantastic pictures, right? Uh, tell us uh, a little bit. You've got a new um, music video out for uh, one of your new songs. We do, yes. Our music video for Tohora is officially out in the world. Um we're really excited about this one. It was filmed by the same crew that did our a music video with us a few years ago for Toho, the last track of our Manu album. And they were, at the time, the guys that we worked with. Um, shout out to Hattie Adams and Ryan Bradley, who were the producer and director of this video and that one. They they were studying at the Christchurch New Zealand Broad, Broad, Broadcasting School and they found us randomly a few years ago when we were living in our van and asked if they could make a music video and they made something so special back then and so we got some funding and we were straight away knew we wanted to work with them again so yeah it's pretty cool um yeah that that is so cool uh so this album the manu album uh manu uh translates to birds or uh, to bird and all of the songs were like uh named after uh, new zealand birds native birds uh ones that you heard from your van uh and then um you did here white which is uh like uh, uh, which means kind of the water or the sea and you named the songs you've named the songs after fish or ocean dwellers right yeah, basically, like all of the, all of the creatures, it was just um, just an EP this time, but yep. all of the creatures are, are tied to like migration, early migration stories for Maori. Yes, so you've got uh, uh, tuna on there, which always excites me and always gets me going <laughs> because um, it's a trick, isn't it? Because everyone thinks it is like tuna, what you get in a can, but uh, it's not. No. It's not. No, in fact, it is the eel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yummy native eel that we have to protect, actually. <laughs> True so maybe it. something else. Yeah, maybe you should. Until they're back to numbers, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what? So what? Are you guys uh, anti-eeling? No, not anti-eeling. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just, just protective about our environment. Amen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. nice, good, because I have a few earling stories from when I was growing up, so I'll just leave those ones. Oh, yes, yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, so. I, mean, I definitely do, and every now and then over a bridge, I'm like, oh, that could be a nice spot. <laughs> just... uh, Get the spear out. <laughs> okay, now uh, the song Tohora. Um, first of all, so this is the song that um, you've um, done this fantastic music video for. Um, tell us, for those who don't know what Tohora means and the and the and kind of the significance behind the, um, the song. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, the general term... Like Tohora as a general term um, simply means whale, but the the specific story we draw on comes from um, up north actually. Um, and my dad pointed us in the direction of the Auckland Museum, um, where they have a story of the relationship between a parawa, which is a sperm whale, and the kauri tree. Um, and for those who might think that's a bit far out, if you if you observe, I guess the skin of the sperm whale. And, and the bark of the Cody tree, and even the fact that the Cody, you know, uh, the, the Cody oil or, or tree sap and, and, and the oil of the sperm whale, that's kind of the relationship they're talking about. Right. Um, and so that's what this whole song is about. And um, yeah. I'll let Em talk about kind of like the story and how that's translated in the song, I guess. Yeah, it's so it's the story of the act of kinship of these two, which were ancestors in, in Te Ao Māori and this beautiful Māori legend that we drew from. Um, and so the story is visualized by these two little, um, two brothers, actually, these two actors uh, are friends of our, really good friends of ours, their sons, Dominic and Jaya, are our two stars of the show. And they did an amazing job capturing the relationship between um, Parawa and Cody. So the whole, it's a real symbolic kind of video. If you watch it, you'll, you'll notice they've both got two different um, necklaces and different colored shorts, which kind of symbolize one of them being the whale and one of them mm. being the tree. And um yeah, and that friendship, I guess, which is really beautifully um, told because they're actually brothers as well. You can totally oh, tell. Oh, that's wonderful. So if people do want to see the music video, if they're like, please lead me there, um, Facebook is one place you can go. So Facebook forward slash Aro Music O on the end? 
Yeah, A-O, yep. I'll tell her. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, or you can, for all of your amazing things that you guys do, um, aromusic.po.nz and Instagram, Instagram forward slash aromusic all as well. Now, um, you guys, uh, when did you film this? Because it's absolutely, like, do you film it in summer? Because I noticed the boys have to go swimming quite a lot, but the, it does look sunny. It does look warm. Uh, it, it looks beautiful. It was about, what, like, March? It was well, during January. lockdown, actually. We broke the rules. No. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We pushed it back from November last year, yeah. um, and it ended up being uh, at the end of January, actually. So it actually probably was better because... It would, the water wouldn't, wouldn't have been that warm back in November. It so. <laughs> would not have. Um, the only thing was we didn't, um, it, it's like a beautiful beach bay that it was filmed at and we were just like, you know, it's it's quite um, isolated, I guess, but it's one of those beaches that a lot of people do know about and it was a beautiful day in summer. So we did end up um, having a few little juggles between <laughs> trying to avoid people being in the background the whole way through. <laughs> yeah, so, you won't even know. You'll think it's some kind of remote bay that we just no, stumbled upon. A, it's a, it's a very beach popular was, beach. The yeah. beach was so wow. full. It was, <laughs> oh, wow. So, um, cause, so what beach was it? It's called Whale Bay. And wow, was, wow, that is somewhat fitting. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> did, you, did you pick that because of what it was called or did it just happen well, to I'll, be the beach? I'll, um, it was all down to our, the film crew literally organised the whole thing. Yeah, because they, they, they're amazing. Yeah, they're from the South Island and they knew there was a whale bay there and they were, they were just kind of joking. It's like, oh, imagine if there was a whale bay here. And so when they searched it, um, the first um, result that came up was actually the one in Tutukaka. And so. it was amazing. It was such a gem of a spot. Yeah. So, so that's oh oh that's, that's so cool, cool because it honestly looks like yeah like this just beautiful like spot that you guys just had totally to yourselves <laughs> in the video, um, <laughs> it, but actually there's heaps of people there. Um, <laughs> a little behind the scenes, eh? <laughs> I love no, it. they thought with all the with all the like crew there. I heard a lot of whispers of people being like, "What's going on?" Because we had some pretty big white screens and things there. Yeah. Um, and some people thought we were some kind of TikTok. Um, influence or something. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah, that's that's amazing. Uh, people, that, have you, yeah, because um, people like I've seen film crews and stuff filming ads on beaches before and stuff. They're always real secretive about what it is. Like you're like, oh, what are you filming? And they're like, yeah, we can't tell. No, you. I'm like, probably. surely you can tell me. It's like an ad for some, you know, like. But anyway, they want to be all secretive about it. So Emily, you you were telling people exactly what you were doing when yeah. you were there. Of course she was. She's like, yeah, we're a band. Check us out. <laughs> A megaphone just being all these <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, great. oh, you guys, uh, well, um, we, we just think the music video is so cool, so timely too, because we're heading into like autumn and winter mm. and um, it's such a summery kind of vibe uh, video. So that's going to just get us through, I think, nicely. <laughs> and we're going to play out the new song as well so uh would you guys it would only be appropriate um would you guys like to introduce a song uh, obviously thank you guys so much we love we love having you on the show we love having you a part of the life fm team and we love all of the stuff that you're doing man i love your heart i love your stories behind everything that you do it's so rich and enriching as well so thank you guys um would you like to introduce your song Yes. Sure. Um, tēnā koutou katoa. This is Charles and Emily. We are Aro and this is Our Waiata Tōhora. Tōhora.